this class is about the comets. So when you see these Arduino codes, um, you'll see some lines that are like grayed out. What that is is like a, uh, what that is, let me bring up one just for an example. You don't have to do this. I'm just bringing up one, uh, that one, sure. So all of this gray stuff here, you'll see it in like a lot of online codes too. None of that stuff is read by the code, all right? Nothing in there is read by the code, all right? Is once you put these two slashes or the um, paragraph comments like these here, none of that is actually read by the code. Now, I will make a point out that is a kind of a big deal for both me and other people too, other uh, programmers. When you're writing programs, actually comment your stuff that make sure not only to help out the person who comes behind you, but it's also to help you uh, down the line. Like when you go back and look at a different, uh, look at a code again. I have codes on my computer that when I was first starting, that I have no idea what they do because I, I did not comment them. I, I had no idea. I can sit there and figure it out, but I'm lazy. I'm not going to do that. Uh, but so when you do write codes, write codes for yourself, make sure you write comments for yourself as well. Uh, and as a code for yourself, the comment can be whatever you want to. You can be this doohickey thingamajigger runs a for loop through a thingamabobber, whatever. All right, you can use your own phrasing. But when you're working for a company, you may, might want to make it up. <laughs> might want to make it up uh, more professional. All right, let's move on. So here, we are still going to be using, all right, so we already did this one, or you should already have one circuit hooked up in which you have the LED in, all right, and we're going to continue with that, so now we're just going to hook in another LED as well. And another thing, too, I do want to mention is here, where is it? And Jaden, this goes for you too, sir. Not just the uh, people, uh, the Arduino people. So this line here, the, this little that little black ground line here, this one. I want you to go ahead and assume that this wire right here will all will I will will be hooked up. All right. So from ground to the negative rail of your Arduino, assume that that is there. So when I read out commands from here on out, I'm not going to say plug it into ground on the Arduino. I'll say plug it into ground on your breadboard because it should. this wire here should always be connected. Um, you'll see some diagrams that you'll have the red wire is connected for power from here, from the 5 volt over to here. We're not always going to use that one, so I will make a special note when that when that wire needs to be plugged in. But this one, always assume that it's in, the ground wire. Um, that's fine if you don't have the circuit hooked up from last class. We're going to walk through it again, the same way we did it last time. All right. So let's go ahead and just start hooking up this circuit. Um, I got to remember what this circuit is, so give me a second. Okay, I'll remember now. All right, so, so you're going to need three wires out. You're going to need two red wires and one green wire, two LEDs and two resistors. Uh, the resistor should be 330 ohms, and the LED, I don't care what color it is, and the green wire, the ground wire, should already be hooked up to the negative side of your breadboard, to the negative power rail. That should already be be a thing now. Just, just go ahead and hook that up at the start of every circuit. All right? And I need to find a red wire. Is that red? That works. All right. So here's the next circuit we're going to hook up. And... I'm just going to go ahead and unplug mine so we can walk through it uh, Blue's Clues style. All right. So this one, I am going to start 
with the JNO. If you have it already plugged up, you don't have to do this first step. I'm just unplugging it to, to kind of go through it um, for everybody, for people that don't have it, that pe for people that already have it unplugged, if that makes sense. But if you do have it plugged up, you do have to follow the first step. So I want one red wire in pin 10, the other red, the other end of the first red wire, I want that in A1. So this is the first red wire is in pin 10 of the Arduino, and the second end or the second end of that wire should be plugged into A1. The long leg of the LED should be plugged into, <clears throat> let's say D2, or I'm sorry, D1. The long leg of the LED should be in D1. The short leg, I want it in D2, D2. Now, the resistor, we we'll do something a little bit different with that one. I want you to take one end of that resistor, plug it into C2. One end of that resistor should be plugged into C2, and the other end should be plugged into ground. I don't care where at in ground, as long as it's plugged into ground. Now, the second wire, the second red wire, I won't plug into pin 9 of the Arduino. Pin 9 of the Arduino, and I did not, or I got the LED out, but I lost it. So hang on, let me find the LED real quick. Is that it? Oh, that's the 10Ks. What did I do with my LEDs? That's my RGB. You know what? I got fancy LEDs. One second, I'm gonna go get fancy LEDs. Sorry about that, I'm back. I don't even know what color this LED is. It's going to be a mystery. Um, so do you want this to resemble our things? So do you want us to resemble, reassemble our things? All right. Oh, yeah, Jaden, you're not going to be able to do that. So I'll go back over it for you real quick. Give me one second, Jaden. You're going to have to do the, uh, actually, here, I'll go ahead and do this now. So I'm going to take one wire here to ground. All right, that one should already be there. I'm going to make that wire black so it makes sense. Or actually, can I make it green? I can't make it green. I'll make it green. Uh, you can't see green. I'll make it black. And I'll bring... My sticky. One second. Apparently, I broke my sticky. One leg plugged in the ground. I want one red wire plugged into 10, like so. And then this is going to be my LED. So I have to turn it around. Whoops, messed up. Like 
that. Take this like that. And then go from here to here, Jaden. So that's how you're going to do it like that. This black. There we go. All right. So I told you plug one end of the red wire into pin nine of the second red wire. I want the other end to be plugged into A14. We'll do A14. I'm going to do this for Jaden too on the side here. A, I want the uh, long leg of the LED should be plugged into. Some of y'all can probably already figure it out, but I want it plugged into D14. D14 with the short leg and D15. Short leg in D15. Uh, Jaden, you're going to have to transfer both of these LEDs into uh, make them 330s. And the, or I'm sorry, the resistors. The first leg of the resistor, I want to plug into uh, C15. And then the ground for the second leg. I'll walk back over that again one second. Okay, cool, Jaden. All right. Now, you can go ahead, if you have everything hooked up, you can go ahead and plug in your Arduino, but none of your lights should be blinking yet. All right, raise your hands when you think you have everything. Uh, let me know if I have to go back over that. I might have to go back over that. Oh, I'm coming, Jaden. What's up, man? Um, well, I made my circuit, and I hit start simulation, but nothing's happening. Yeah, because we, we still got to code it, sir. One second, I'll show you how to do all that. All right. I see a few, I see a few people. Where did that go? One, two, three again. All right. That's, oops. You got to make sure you connect this ground here, too, Jaden. Damn it. All right. All right. Let me walk back through that one more again. All right. I want one part of a red wire plugged into pin 10. The next part plugged into A1. The long leg of an LED plugged into D1 with the short leg plugged into D2. <clears throat> One leg of the resistor plugged into C2. The other leg of that resistor should be plugged into ground. On the second red wire, I want it plugged into pin 9 of the Arduino and D14 of the, oh, yeah, D14 of the um, breadboard. All right, do I need to slow down a little bit? Yep, okay. All right, I'll take it back. I'm going to start back over again. I'll slow it down a little bit. <clears throat> Let me adjust my mic. Y'all might, might not be able to hear me quite well. All right. <laughs> so, let me, let me start back over. I, I lost some people there. All right. So, the green wire. Let's start there first. The green wire should be plugged into GND anywhere on your breadboard and plugged into the negative rail of your 
I'm sorry, GND on your Arduino, and then the negative rail of your breadboard. And when I say negative rail, I'm talking about this rail right here. All right, you don't need this red wire. Here, here I'll even keep this circuit up. You don't need this red wire, but you do need this green wire, or the, this green wire here. Okay. So I want one pin of the of a red wire plugged into pin ten of the Arduino. Pin ten. All right, and that's pin ten is right under eleven and right above pin nine. The other, and this is the digital side too over here. On this side, on the side next to the reset button. I want the other end of that LED, or I'm sorry, of that wire plugged into A1, A1, and grab an LED and make sure the long leg, which is the anode, I think, the long leg of the LED is plugged into D1 with the short leg plugged into D2, D2. I want one leg of the resistor plugged into C2, C2, and the other leg plugged into ground. All right, raise your hands when you all have that first second or first circuit. Yes, resistors plugged into D2 and ground. So when I say ground, I'm talking about this negative rail here. Ground, negative rail, uh, zero point. I'll, 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 uh, what else do I call it sometimes? Uh, plugged it into zero, voltage zero, stuff like that. Anytime I'm using that kind of connotation, I'm talking about grounds. C2, C2, I'm sorry, C2, apparently I said D2, my bad, remember that, that you can plug it into, I can plug it in, if I said C2, you can plug it into E2, you can plug it into B2, you can plug it into A2, they are all the exact same point electrically. All right, so just because I might say, if I say G10, you could plug it into J10 and it'd be the exact same thing. All right, for the next circuit, I got one leg of the red wire plugged into pin 10. The other leg of that wire is plugged into A14. A14. The long leg of the second LED is in uh, is in what is it in D14 D14 for the long leg of the second LED and the short leg of it is in D15 D15 and the one leg of the resistor is in C15, C15, and the other leg is in ground. Pin 10. Pin 9, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, did I say pin 10? I meant pin 9 of the Arduino. So the second wire should be plugged into pin 9 on the Arduino. Did I say pin 10? All right. All right, where are you lost, Gabe? You don't have your mic hooked up because you are you don't have... Yeah, I know. I, I forget things, all right? All right. Let me try to think how I can explain this a little bit better. Okay. So this is essentially the circuit here. 
All right, so if you get confused by what I say, you can look up here. The positive here, this positive is long leg, the long leg, or the lame leg in this case, or whatever word that is, the long leg. So positive is long leg, negative is the short leg, the anode and the cathode. I think it's cathode. Yeah, cathode because electron. Yeah, cathode. All right, where are you all, Hello? All right, hey. Um, okay, so I put both the resistors in, and I put the, the I put one side of the red wire in P9, and I don't know where to put the, the other side. The other side of what? The other side of what? The other side of the P9 wire. Okay, plug that into A14. Plug that into A14. Okay, but uh, one inside of the resistor is in C15, is that correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. And the other and leg... I should plug, have it. The other leg plug in brown. You want me to plug it in now? The other leg of the resistor should be plugged in brown. The other leg of the resistor should be plugged in brown. Ground, okay. So I have both both legs of the resistor, one in ground, and uh, one's on B2, though, is that correct? B2. Yes. B2. Yes. All right, then should it work if I plug it in? It, well, we got to put the code for it, but it, yes. Well, we got to put the code for it, but yes. All right. Um, let me... All right. And then, Zach, where you lost that? Um, I'm just kind of, I, need, I keep getting confused because you keep, like, changing the, you keep giving me different directions. All right. So, my bad. All right, so... Do you have your first circuit hooked up correctly, or do you, are you pretty sure it's hooked up correctly? Uh, let me see. I think so. Here, how about this? Let's let, let's let's do this. Walk me through the way you have your 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 circuit hooked up. Break it down the way I break it down to you. Okay. Um, I've got a green wire going from ground uh, <coughs> ground to. Uh, the negative yeah, rail? Negative rail. Okay. I've got a rib wire going from pin 10 to A1. Okay. I've got two resistors, one going from nope, nope. C2. Walk. Hang on, hang on. Walk me through. So where's your LED next? Uh, one of them goes from uh, long legs in D1, shorts in D2. The other one, uh, long legs in uh, D4 and short legs in D5. Okay, let's make it 14. D14. Give yourself some space. D14 and 15. Okay. All right. Uh, no what? Okay. So, all right. So, where you have the wire plugged into pin nine of the Arduino, or you should have plugged into pin nine. Walk me through that circuit. So, you got pin nine of the Arduino. I have pin ten. The second wire. You have a second wire in there? Oh. Uh, uh, I do know. Okay. Now let's plug that one into A14. So that's going to be okay. where that long leg of that resistor is. And then, or sorry, that LED. And then the resistor, the second resistor, I want you to plug that into C15 and ground. And a second resistor, right? Yes, yeah, second resistor. All right. Got that? Yep. All right, cool. So, okay, is everybody on the same page now? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. 
It's weird because the LEDs and resistor legs are so long, yeah. I guess it would be a little bit tricky. Uh, wait till we get the robot, you're gonna have wires and stuff all over the place. Alright. Let's start the coding, and then, then we're gonna do something a little bit different. I really want y'all to understand this breadboard thing, and I'm not explaining it correctly, so I'll have to, I think I just came up with another way. Alright, so, I want you to go o open up, go ahead and connect your Arduino to your computer and open up your software. Go ahead and open up your software. I want you to go to examples, basic, and blink. Jaden, I believe your code is already set up this way, which is fine. Actually, let me make sure. Yeah. All right. So we're going to open up Blink. We're going to hit Control A to copy all of it. Hit Control A and then Control C. We're going to copy it. Open up a new sketch. And I want you to paste that sketch into there. So that was open up Blink by going to File, Examples, Basic, Blink. Jaden, you can just keep yours the same, sir. All right. Control A to copy this and then bring it over here. Open up a new sketch and Control, I'm sorry, Control A to select all, Control C to copy, and then Control V to paste it into a new sketch. And the reason we're doing this is because I'm going to use the same code, but we're going to dress it up a little bit. Now, if you, I do want you to, now I know on your codes, y'all don't have this. Y'all just have 13 here. All right, so I want you to get your code to match mine. All right, now I'm actually going to do something real quick to make this a little bit easier. There you go. Now you should be able to see it a little bit better. And raise your hands when your code matches mine. With this, this line of code here, this int LED 13, then you should have LED here, LED here, and LED here. I wonder if you can do control F. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that, that's too complicated. All right, again, and I'll go through the steps one more time in case I went through it too fast. So open up your, connect your Arduino to your computer. Open up our Arduino itself. We're going to open up Blink by going to File, Examples, Basic, and Blink. All right, with Blink open, you hit Control-A to select all, Control-C to copy, then go to File, and new for a new sketch, click on that new sketch and hit control V and then make your code equal to mine. Now, if you try to upload this code, it's not going to work. Why is it not going to work? Well, you're correct, Kevin, but 
so this is only going to light up one LED, but that's not the main reason why it's not going to work. And again, raise your hands when your code looks like mine, so, so I'll know when it can move on. And the main difference should be just this in LED 13 semicolon here. So if I load this code, well, an LED will flash. Actually, if your Arduino is plugged in, you should see a little blue light flashing on your LED. That's from pin 13. That's this pin right here. But we didn't plug it into pin 13. We plugged it into pins 9 and 10. So in this case, and this is why this makes our lives a little bit easier, so here, where we said int LED 13, well, if I want to change this pin number, I would have to come through here and change all every single one of those to make it say whatever pin I plugged it into. But in this case, doing it this way, it makes it a lot easier. I can just hit delete. Oops. I can erase 13, make it say 10. Why is this thing being really weird right now? Okay, one second. File, save. Y'all probably don't have to do this because um, I'm having to do this because my <laughs> because I I increased the font. So I should have restarted Arduino, which I didn't. Uh, robot code. Link to. Here it is. All right. Now it should work right. So here, I'm just going to make this say 10 and semicolon. Now, if you upload this code, as, I, as it's set, that first LED should start blinking. What is this? What are you showing me, Gabe? Yep, exactly. That should. Okay, one thing you got to change, all those 13s, Gabe, you got to change those to LED. So. Well, if I can copy it. So, again, the purpose of this here is to replace this 13 here with LED. And then it changes everything. LED. All right, I'm not seeing a lot of hands getting raised here. Where have I lost people? What do I need to go back over? All right, one second, Gabe, and I'll get the, you might have a circuit problem. Then you don't have the right comp selected, Gabe, on your serial port. All right, give me some feedback here. Apparently, I've lost y'all, but I'm not sure where. Help me help you. Let me know what I need to explain again. Everything? Not getting any feedback here, so I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna redo everything. Okay. 
So, here, I'm going to make my code look like what yours looked like. So, y'all, I think most of y'all had this. Now, I'll probably made some changes to the sketch, which is why mine's a little bit different. So, here, here, here. So, this is probably, I think this is what y'all's code looks like, right? Jaden, I know you're on the same page. I know what your code looks like, man. Okay. So, this code as it's set, as we have this circuit hooked up, is not going to work at all because these pin numbers are not right. I've had you plug it into pin 10 and pin 9, not pin 13. All right? So, the way to fix that, is to simplify your life and you could come through all right you could come through I could come here change this to 10 I could come here change this to 10 come here change this to 10 and then this code will work however that's already too much work I had to like erase three numbers there I don't and programmers are lazy they don't like doing that stuff so a simple solution is to come up here and if you write int LED equals 10 here and then for everywhere we have 10 you can just change that to LED and it automatically equals 10 because we said so up here all right LED and then LED and then load that up and it should work all right, and then pin that first LED that you plugged in or the one you have plugged in the pin 10 should also work. Yeah, give me, give me, Gay, okay, make sure you have the, go to this tools, serial port, make sure you have the right one selected. Or if you have like COM1 and then COM whatever, plug select COM whatever. You are on Windows, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. Not the one second. Not the, not the, yeah, I know the second one's not working yet because we haven't coded for it yet. Now, to code for the second one is actually not that difficult. Now, there's two, two different ways of doing this. Um, actually, there's multiple different ways of doing this. But if I come here, if I come here and I change this to 9, then that second circuit should start working. However, the first circuit will stop working. So the sim what you're saying, Andrew? And by the way, if anybody misses something and y'all want to join a 10 o'clock class, let me know. Y'all can just jump in there, too. I have a 10 p.m. class as well, and I usually just go over the exact same thing I went here, except for the 10 o'clock class. I usually explain it better because I learned what I did wrong in this class. I can do that, Gabe. If anybody else wants the invite, let me know, and I'll send it to you.
Okay. So a way, a way to get the other one to work, the, uh, both of them to work at the same time, is here. I'm going to come down here, and I'm right underneath where I put int LED equals 10. Here I'm going to say int LED equals 9. Or actually, nope, can't do LED. I'm going to do LED underscore 2, like that. So this is my first LED, this is my second LED. Now the easy way to do this is copy and paste. I can copy all this. All right. Now I'll make sure I stay in between these two curly brackets. All right, so I'm gonna come down here a little bit, and give myself some space. I'm gonna come up here and I'm pasting it. Now it's just a simple copy and paste. All right, I'm sure plenty of you have done that on your homework at some point in time. And don't lie and say you haven't. All right, I'm going to hit underscore two here. Hit underscore two here. Hit play or hit upload. And then your second LED should start lighting up. So here's, here's the only thing I did to change this. And I'm going to undo my changes and I'll remake them again. One second. All right. Now, if I come up here, I'm going to declare, I'm declaring a second LED. And you do have to put that if, when you do it, you can't you can't do that. You can't say space to because the code won't read and it'll get all confused and you'll kill a kitten in Bangladesh. Don't do that. So you're gonna put the underscore two underscore and then the number two. And I could easily have said this is the same thing. I could say this if I wanted to. It doesn't matter what words I put there as long as I use the same words over and over again. In this case, I'm going to use Gabe. So LED underscore Gabe equals equals pin 9 here. All right. I just put Gabe because he, he was the one that was talking when I was looking for another word. All right. Now, to make the other LED turn on, it's a simple process of copy and paste. You copy all this code here, just hit Control, highlight it, Control C, copy, and then you come over here at the end of wait for a second for the last one. All right, give yourself some space because I'm trying to stay in between this curly bracket and this curly bracket. And then you just come here, hit Control P or Control V to paste it. And then for this here, you just change your LED to underscore whatever you put up there. All right. So here I'm, I'm using the LED game. It is the same code. Because if you're having the N, so if you get this error here, I'm putting this here. Um, whoops. So in function void loop error expected semi or brace here at the end of input atrophy all this stuff. What probably happened is you're probably not inside this curly bracket. Those I have. My code, if I put code here, it won't work underneath, underneath this curly bracket. It, they have to exist in between these two curly brackets here. All right? It cannot be past this curly bracket. Not yet. We haven't learned how to do that yet. It might not be missing, Andrew. Careful that it's not there somewhere and you just can't see it. Because if you put an extra curly bracket, it, <laughs> it says... <laughs> Cool, Jaden. Good, good, good. All right. 
so you have to keep track of these little of these braces here. All right, that that's how the code knows when to start and how the code knows when to stop. Okay, so if it's not there, go ahead and go ahead and add that curly bracket. Look up G G G mod E two codes. So you learn how to do this stuff. Okay, so if you're having the issue in which Avery is talking about. He's saying one of his LEDs is much brighter than the other. Uh, let me try something first before I tell you. I think that is the way the amperage works. Uh, do this. Yeah, there is a fix for that, Avery. I'm not going to go over that. Uh, it's just the way the circuit's hooked into. Um, yeah, that would take me a little bit too long to explain. I'll go over that next class. All right. Just raise your hands if both your lights are flashing. Can I have... And I have the second LED on the breadboard. I have one in D1, one in D2. Okay. <laughs> All right. So for the second LED, whoops, I'm causing a short circuit here. One second here. I got to fix my own circuit. All right. For the second LED, you should have one wire plugged into pin 9, the other wire, other end of that wire plugged into a14, A14. The long leg of that LED should be plugged into E14, E14, and the short leg should be plugged into D15, D15. One leg of the resistor should be plugged into C15, and the other leg in the ground. Yes, let's use this for the next class, so keep that circuit hooked up. One is brighter than the other. That's a, a amperage issue. Uh, it's, not, it's not the code. The code's working fine. It's the amperage issue in that case. And I'm not going to go over how to fix that. Well, let me see if I can. Let me see if there's an easy way to do it. Let me try one more, one more tactic here. I don't know. I might blow something up here. Let's find out. No, I didn't do it. As a way of fixing you putting the LEDs in parallel, but I'm not going to worry about that. <laughs> All right. So how much time I got? I got five minutes left. <sighs> Shoot, I'm not going to really have a chance to go over these. So, as Jaden's doing, Jaden is hooking up five different lights already, and that's perfectly fine. So, actually, I want to work, I want to, we're going to do a little few things with the breadboard first. That's what I want to do. It's everybody's lights flashing. That, that's the main thing I want right now. Okay, Manuel's is, Gabe is. Okay, everybody's lights flashing. Cool. All right, so let's do this. Let me try to wrap your heads around the way the breadboard and the Arduino works. So, on any, so let's take wire, the wire that you got plugged into A1. All right, let's take that, take that wire that you got plugged into A1, 
And if you plug it in, if you just unplug it and plug it into B1, it's going to work exactly the same. <laughs> exactly the same. All right. And if you unplug it again and plug it into C1, it's, it's still going to work. The circuit is still complete. It's the exact same thing. All right. And the same thing if I plug it in to anywhere on that row. However, if you plug that wire into G1, nothing's going to work. You don't have a complete, <laughs> you don't have a complete circuit, right? Remember, the circuits have to be connected to each other, and the difference between A, B, C, D, and E, all right. Then you have that little gap in your breadboard, and then you have F, G, I, and J. Now you have that break there for a specific reason. We'll cover later, but that circuit is not complete. All right, so again, with that wire plugged into A1 or B1 or C1 or even E1, it's still going to work. If you take that wire and if you just touch it to the to that uh, LED, to the long leg of the LED, it's still going to work. It's still electrical, all right? All right? It still has electricity to it. The same thing goes with the resistor. If I plug that resistor in... Anywhere on where I had, I had, think I had y'all plugging into C2. If I put it into A2, it's still going to work. All right. And the same thing with the LED. If I move that LED over one to A1 or A2, both ways are still working. It's still the exact same circuit. All right. Now let's look at a different, different thing. One of the main things I kind of really wanted y'all to, to get in this class. Um, so let's look at this code. Reason this code works, all right. So first up here, I'm just declaring variables, and I'm telling, I'm telling the Arduino where I'm plugging in, um, where I'm plugging in the LEDs, all right. And I can make this say um, the int LED has no computer doesn't know what an LED is. Computers are stupid, all right. I can make this say. Um, Goo, goo gobbler, all right? And then as long as I put goo gobbler down here, it's the exact same thing. Goo, I just have to make sure I spell it correctly each time. Goo gobbler, goo gobbler, all right? So this, if I load this code up, it will work exactly the same way, all right? As long as I, um, <laughs> This, as long as I make it the same way all the, all the way through, all right? And it, I can misspell it, too, as long as I keep misspelling it the exact same way. Now, let's look at less. And now, this part I do want y'all to actually do is um, we're going to move. We're going to shift the pin numbers, all right? So here where we say 10 and 9, I don't know. Let's be crazy here. I'm going to say I'm going to make this one say pin 3. So here I'm just saying 3. And we'll make this one say um, 12. Oops. I'll make this one say 12. If I upload this, the code's not going to work, or the lights are not going to flash. Oops. Oh, I forgot one thing. I see why they, okay. How much time I got? All right, it's 8 o'clock. If y'all want to leave, y'all can leave, but I'm going to keep going. All right. So if I upload this, it's not going to work. So one thing I forgot about LED gate. I think that's why the light issue, is lighting issue. You need to declare it as an output. I forgot all about this. It's been a while since I've done this. So we are going to have to put this one in there. If I can get my cursor to go where I want it to. I'm going to put pin mode LED gate. And that could be LED too. It doesn't matter. There will be times where stuff does matter. And I will, uh, uh, certain keywords matter, like output matters. Like that matters. All right. But anything else doesn't really matter. I'll, I'll be specific about that when we get to those. Now, this code is not going to work unless you move the pin numbers around. So you have to actually move the pins on the Arduino. So if I... The only way this one works is if I plug it into 3 and 12. Did I plug it into 12? Yep. Yeah, if you put this output here, I think it makes it brighter. Uh, it should. I 
forgot all about that. I forgot about how the, the circuitry of the Arduino works. If you gotta go, you gotta go. All right, does that make sense? All right, is everybody, does that, does that help kind of hammer it into your head a little bit more? Let me know if there's anything else you're missing. Like, all right, so. And yes, if you change these times here, you, you can adjust how far they're on and off, all right? You can make Morse code and all kinds of other fun things, all right? Um, Another thing too. So if you did actually more than these, more than more LEDs than this, right? It gets kind of cluttered. Um, we do, we can do. If I did three or if I did five, you can imagine how long this code is going to be. Next class, I'll cover how to condense it and make it a little bit more elegant. Um, again, this name here, this name here does not matter. All right. LED gave, I got L Int Goo Gobbler. It does not matter what name I put here as long as I keep using that same name all the way through the code. Now, here it does matter. Here I'm specifying pin 3 and pin 12. All right? So this is telling me that I have that in pin whatever. In some codes, you will make this Int LED gave do all kinds of different things. So you need to have a way to keep track of it. Um, when we do the robot, actually here, let me go ahead and pull up one thing here. This is what I'm trying to prep y'all for. Uh, PID. So this is a calculus-based code here. All right, and this is just a very, this is still simple. All right, here I'm saying I'm getting int values of KP, KI, KD. I'm setting set points. It looks kind of confusing, but really, if you break this down, it's very, very simple. Um, so the reason I put stuff like this, the proportional, right, you can see here I'm manipulating the proportional to make it do something else. Um, and again, with the error, too, this is what I'm trying to prep y'all off. I'm trying to show y'all why I'm hammering certain things in there. Um, let's see, what else did I miss? What else can I explain better? What What are the gaps that I need to do mo better? Anything, anybody? Manuel, Zach, Andrew, Gabe, y'all the all soldiers still, still trucking along? So I'll tell you what, let me let's do this. I want y'all to do this. Since y'all I want y'all to send me change your codes. I want you to change your codes. I'm gonna give you two conditions. Or yeah. I want you to come up with another name for both LEDs. Alright? Any name you want to, as long as it's not a profanity word. All right, and also change the pin numbers and make your Arduino work. So send me the code, like copy and paste the code and push it in the question block. Change the name of the LEDs, the pin numbers of the LEDs, and also make your circuit work with that code. And bring up a new sketch here so I can see everybody's code. Again, I'm looking for you to do three things. Change the names of the LEDs in your code. Change the pin numbers of the LEDs. And make it so that your Arduino is still going to work. Hey, right, I got somebody's here. Who did I get? This is Gabe. Yep, Gabe. All right, let's see if this is gonna work. Everything's gonna work. 
except for one thing here, Gabe. You need to make this pin mode. You need to declare this here. Pin mode here. And then Shrek Kiss Deck. Drek. Quest. I'm not even going to try. Drek. Comma. Output. And then that will work. All right, somebody else in your code. It's working, but if you add that, it makes it brighter. This is what this is the code that makes it brighter. I forgot about the the way the Arduino is hooked up. If you don't specify an output to put, it doesn't. There's an internal circuitry that doesn't switch over to make it a uh, to make it an output, it's, it's still reading it kind of similar to an input. All right, send me the code, Zach. Let me see it. Send me the code. So just copy, just copy everything that you have, and then put it in the question block. Class INO in function. Oh, I just got somebody's code. Who did I get? This is Andrews. Nope, Zach. Dear God, Zach, what did you do? All right. Do I have all of it? Copy, paste, okay, LED, normal sucky, LED, super duper, output, low, high, 200, yep, that works. And is your Arduino still working, um, Zach, and are the lights flashing? Andrew Manuel, let me see what y'all got. And no, the only thing they're doing here is they just changed this name here, which does not matter, and they changed the pin number here, just these numbers here. Make don't use by the way, don't use uh zero or one. Don't do not use zero or one. Remember, don't use TX or RX. 